Okay, it's time for a new red light therapy unit. Here is my original test to see if it would do anything at all. And uh, I'm quite amazed at what it does, especially for pain. Okay, you can see that these are all lit. Alright, some of them are invisible to me, these ones. Okay, but I can see them on here. They are lit. These are visible, the ones in, in between here. The bright ones are invisible. Or, the bright ones are visible. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, the other ones I can't see being lit, but they are lit. So, anyway... I have uh, two different frequencies of light and they work tremendous. I'm going to put in three and see how that goes. So we'll move on to the next part of the project. This experiment was successful. It takes care of pain like you wouldn't believe. So it does work. Okay, my project is uh, putting a bunch of LEDs onto a board. You got a perf board that you could purchase just about anywhere. This is a five centimeter by seven centimeter and uh, it's copper clad. So that's what I'm using to mount my LEDs and I have two different sizes. I have the five millimeter and some three millimeter. Okay and it doesn't really matter what size they are. What does matter is the frequency of light. So I have some uh, 940 nanometer LEDs and uh, that's a far infrared. Okay, I have some 850s which are what they call near infrared and uh, also just plain old visible red okay I'm not sure what frequency those are it's insignificant this needs to be there but these are the most important I think for deep healing light penetration into the skin down into the bones okay so the 940s are definitely uh, a must-have so Pretty simple operation. Um, let me see if I can get this to focus for you. And you can see that I'm just folding the leads over on the LEDs, putting them through, okay, temporarily, and then I snip them off when I get them to where I want them, get the length right snip them off and fold them over okay then I'll go through and solder every connection point so it's gonna take a while no doubt alright the only thing you gotta determine is how many can you have in a row okay every LED well, runs at a different voltage okay so these are 1.2 to 1.5 volts, okay. If I do 1.2, if I set this at 1.2 and I put 12 volts in, I need 10 of these LEDs. So if I use 9 LEDs, which is what I'm using, okay, it's going to come out to about 1.3 volts, which is perfect. Not too hot, not too cold just right so that's what I'm doing with all these I determined what voltage they required and figured out how many I need in a row for 12 volts these um, visible light LEDs are running about 2 volts so I can have 6 of them in a row and that'll make 12 volts so I have 
I have to wire these in such a way that I have six here, six here, six here, six here, six here. You get the idea. Okay. These other ones are all in a row, and they'll have positive at one end, negative at the other. This will have positive, then negative, then positive, then negative for these visible light. Okay, you get the idea? It's not hard, but I'm telling you what, if you can make one of these and try it out, you will be amazed. Okay, that pad that I first showed you lit up is this size. Okay, it had less LEDs on it, of course. And uh, so I'm making my new one. I'm going to have four pads like this. And I'm going to try to make them a little bit flexible so that you can put them on your knee or your elbow or something like that on your shoulder and sort of wrap around a little bit um, to give the light a place to go that's close to your skin and down in penetrating your skin. So if I just make it flat, yeah, it would work, but it's going to be a little easier to put on to a, an arm you know, when you can wrap it around or something. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try to make this a flexible one. I'm going to use four of these. I got one done. Lots more LEDs to go. Okay, super quick. These LEDs are polarity sensitive. They only work one direction. You can maybe see that this is dimmer than that one and that one too. But that one there should be about the brightest. Okay. So I have this on a scale here. So it's actually trying to push this LED a little harder than what it should be. Okay. That's about the brightness that you want for your LED. And no more. You don't want them getting hot. You don't want them burning out. This is a lot of work to have one LED burn out because it overheated. And you have to tear the whole thing apart to try to figure out which one it is. Change it out. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So put it on the lower end. You'll still have plenty of light. Believe me. This thing works good. But just remember, LEDs are polarity sensitive. You have to put them all in in one direction only okay and they have a long and a short leg and there's also a notch on one side to help you identify which is negative okay now remember I had the visible red LEDs six in a row but you see there's 12 here okay so I split it in half so I got six from the positive terminal I got six in series down to this last one which then goes to ground so I'll connect that to ground here in a minute so I have one two three four rows of those visible LEDs so I'll have another one of these right here so I'll have a ground wire, ground wire, ground wire. That'll be positive to negative for this string of six. Then this string will be already hooked to negative, and I'll have to take a wire from here to positive. So it's split in half, okay? So I don't have 12 in a row. I have six in a row and six in a row up like that. Got it? It's not hard. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay, hopefully this makes a little more sense. You can see that there's a row connected to positive here. Okay. Goes down and connects to negative here. Okay, this row is connected to negative right here.
comes up and connects to positive through that wire. So they just sort of crisscross right here. So you have a positive connection up here and a positive connection right here. You have a negative connection here and a negative connection on this row. Capiche, maybe. Remember, these have nine. These only take six to make 12 volts. So I put two sets of LEDs there. This only has, this row only has one set of LEDs. So it goes straight from the positive rail to the negative rail. Okay, the next thing to do is see if they all light up. Wish me luck. Okay, let's try it out. 12 volts. Whoa. All right. Uh, I don't see the uh, 940s on. But I got them all. I think the 940s are the invisible, invisible ones. Maybe it's overpowering. I don't know. I gotta check that out. See why that's not showing up on the camera. But uh, it did work. Everything works. Yeah, they're bright. <laughs> okay, now you can see it. See the purple? There you go. Now you can see it. He just couldn't see it before it was overpowered by the <laughs> other lights. So, yeah. See, that should be lit up right there, that row. And that row. And you can't see them. But, I know they work. I just saw them work. Okay. That's number one done out of four. There's my red light heating pad. Red light therapy pad. Okay, you can see a couple of diodes down in there. Made a few adjustments. But all in all, it turned out really well. Put some Gorilla Tape on the back side, cushion it, keep everything tight, and uh, you can see where I stitched it with some wire to make it flexible, okay, and that way it'll wrap around your knee, elbow, whatever. Works pretty good. I got a 2 amp. 12 volt power supply running it. I'll turn it on full blast here in just a second. Okay, there you go. I know this looks a little odd, like some of them aren't lit up, but they are. They're all lit. Okay. They're just hard to see, but they're they're lit. So that's it. The red light therapy pad, and you have three different colors. You have uh, red lights visible. You have the 850 and the 940s down in here. The 940s are the one that's invisible. I'm telling you what, you put this thing on, look, you can see it, it actually heats through your hand. It shows through it. 
So, yeah, it gets down in there, it penetrates deep. It really, really, really works. Thing's amazing. It takes pain away, inflammation down. I'm telling you what, I can't get through the day without it, I don't think. I mean, you know, I, I we have a lot of muscle aches and pains and stuff like that. And uh, this is what I use. Of course, it's a lot cheaper to make your own than to purchase one for, you know, hundreds, thousands. Yeah, and all it is is red LEDs. The same things, exactly the same things that I have in here.